Hey guys, so I tried TypeScript like maybe a month ago for one of my tutorials when I was using Prisma and I just fell in love with it. And now I really want to use TypeScript for pretty much all my new projects that I'm going to be using. So I wanted to show you why I really like TypeScript. Before, uh, I, the one reason I wasn't using TypeScript or Flow is I felt like it slowed me down when I was using JavaScript uh, compared to using JavaScript because I felt like I had, waste, had to waste time to add types but now I'm kind of feeling the opposite I feel like I'm coding faster in TypeScript than I was with JavaScript and that's really just the main reason for me is I'm coding faster and then also my code is safer because it's now checking the types so let me show you what I mean by faster though so this first thing is um, something that I didn't get when I was trying flow and that was super good integration with Visual Studio code so let me show you what I mean by that. So I currently have a deeply nested component over here. It's in routes, login, components. And I don't know anything about this header, like what it does. And I just want to add it to my uh, component right here. So I just start making my header. And you'll notice I haven't imported it yet. But I get this nice little autocomplete. I can go down to the header. And now it'll auto import it for me at the top like this. And now I have header. And look how many it deeply nested it, did the whole import for me, and that's super nice. So I love being able to do that. So Visual Studio Code has started to do some of that with JavaScript, but it's not nearly as nice as with TypeScript. So now I pretty much never manually import any of my components. I just auto import them uh, with using Visual Studio Codes. The next thing, as soon as I imported this component, it really tells me there's something wrong with it. So I can check right here, and it's like, all right, the property text is missing in the type. Okay, so that means, and by the way, these messages are pretty cryptic at first, but as you get used to TypeScript, you kind of realize what they're talking about. In this case, I didn't add a text property. So if I just add it in here, it should be good, right? Oh no, look, I misspelled it. So like things like this, where I would basically go and run my code and go check it in the browser, and then something would be wrong, and I'd have to go debug it, I know right away with TypeScript that I just misspelled it or I just left off a letter and now we're good. So it just saves me time having to go check my code and like normally with JavaScript I would go and maybe add some console logs to see if it gets passed in okay and then realize up the chain I just misspelled something or uh, whatnot. And really for those two reasons, being able to know what I need to pass to my components or my functions and then also being able to import um, them easily with Visual Studio Code and the auto completion it gives you uh, has really converted me to TypeScript and I love it and I'd highly recommend it if you haven't already checking it out. Um, I haven't checked Flow lately or tried Flow. That's Facebook's version. TypeScript is Microsoft's version. Um, and uh, so I don't know if the integration with Visual Studio Code is better, but right now I love the integration with TypeScript so that's what I'm going to be using and pretty much using for all my future projects. So that's it, that's why I like TypeScript and uh, highly recommend checking it out.